Guys, you're going to love this one today. Uh, so one of the things that I uh, hated around the house, uh, living in uh, Canada, is, uh, well, it gets brutally cold in winter. And uh, running out of power and freezing sucks. So I've installed a uh, backup uh, for my furnace. How did I start this thing out? Well, uh, took a little bit of a process to figure out if uh, this thing was going to work for me or not. Uh, I ended up taking an APC, an old unit. And I uh, took the USB, I popped it into the computer, and uh, I wired my furnace uh, to that APC just to see if the draw was uh, going to be within the limits of that backup before I went all crazy and wired this whole thing in. Turns out that worked out well. And uh, it was only using about 330 watts uh, when just the furnace fan is running. And it uses about 380 is what I came up with uh, when it's heating. Uh, so 380 watts, that's, uh, that's quite doable for that battery backup. Uh, it easily maintains around 1,000. I think it's, it's probably rated at higher, but uh, it maintains that quite well. I'd recommend going uh, to the extreme, getting a backup that's way bigger size than uh, the other way around. To wire this thing up, super easy. Uh, this was a connector on the battery that came with uh, the old uh, gel batteries uh, that were inside the uh, unit. And all I ended up doing is uh, check the voltage. It happened to be 24 volts. There was uh, two sealed gel uh, lead acid uh, batteries. And uh, so I decided all well, I was going to go with uh, two lead acid batteries. And uh, of course, living in a small town, my selection was a little bit narrow. But I ended up deciding on uh, these units. Good old Magna Power. It is a commercial battery. I don't know how long they're going to last, but I bought two, uh, wired them up in series, and then just wired them up exactly like the connector was. Uh, in my case, the uh, red wire is positive, and uh, you guessed it, this is the negative. So one goes to one battery, the other goes to the other, and then uh, cross-wired them to get my 24 volts. The great part about this is that uh, APC already has a charger built in and it instantaneously switches so if my power goes out i don't have to run down here and uh, do any switching or any craziness like that to to get my furnace to go uh, the wiring part of it on the back side here there's the emergency off on off switch now that's something i didn't want to bypass i want to make sure that that still does work that way so that it is wired in if you push or turn that switch off uh, if it's running on the battery or if it's running on the furnace or on the, uh, sorry, household electrical current, it's going to shut it off either way. How did I do that? Uh, instead of taking the, this is the wire that came down into that box and that, that went to the furnace. You can kind of see it coming through the insulation in the back here. Instead of running directly to there, I took the wire from this now to uh, this plug-in and this plug goes down to my backup and then uh, the wire coming back up goes into that box for the on-off switch. So it's essentially just putting the, uh, the battery back up in between uh, what, where that switch used to go. Uh, for wiring, it was 14.2 uh, wire, so that's what I put in there. It's 14-2 and there, there's three wires as well. There's the ground, the power, and uh, the common. That's right. So how long will this whole setup run without power? Uh, after doing some calculations and stuff online, I didn't really get a clear answer as to uh, how to convert cold cranking amps, which is uh, how my batteries were rated, uh, to useful amps at a slower draw. So instead of trying to figure out the capacity, I ran the system for an hour just by uh, disabling the wall power and uh, measured the voltage of the battery with a multimeter, which for me uh, looks 
looks like I'll get about four hours of use, maybe three, uh, with the furnace running, which that's continuous use as well. So in the event of a power out, I should be pretty well set for quite a while with power. Uh, of course, the power hasn't filled yet, and it's summertime now when I did install the unit, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I know uh, in previous winters, I'll get a chance uh, probably once or twice in the winter season to uh, to see how it works. So what do I love about the setup, and what would I do differently? Uh, what I love is that I chose the APC instead of running an inverter and running a separate charger to keep the batteries topped off. Uh, the APC has a built-in charger, so that looks after the batteries for me. And it also switches uh, instantly. So if the furnace is running and the power does go out, there's no interruption of service at all, which I think is fantastic. Uh, what would I change? Um, only one thing that I can think of that I would change, and that's the batteries uh, that I have chosen uh, to sit underneath. Uh, unfortunately for me, I live in a smaller town. And all that was available is the Magna Power batteries that you had seen there. They are a flooded lead acid battery. And uh, hindsight looking back, I, I wish I would have held out a little bit longer, maybe got something from the city, uh, like an AGM or a gel, uh, gel acid battery. Uh, the gel or AGM, both will still work with that APC. Uh, so will the, the flooded lead acid battery. All the voltages kind of are the same and work the, the battery chemistry kind of works the same. However, you can go a little bit deeper and pull more power out of the AGM or like a gel battery for uh, real deep cycle applications. But only time will tell if uh, this choice was good or if it wasn't. I mean, ultimately the batteries didn't cost me a whole lot. They were, I think, $120 or $130 a piece. So I'm st still very happy with how the whole thing turned out. I'll be happier yet in winter when uh, when the power kicks out on me and I have heat in the house. Thanks for watching. I will update this uh, the first time we do get a power out uh, and uh, let you guys know how the thing uh, worked out in the real life scenario.